Hey everyone, it's time for Macro Minute Monday. This week's macro is called Bulk Create Name Tags. And you might be thinking, what in the world does that mean? Well, a lot of times people will leverage Word and spend a lot of time copying and pasting things in things like name tags or name plates or hang tags or like locker labels or envelope labels or whatever. So I said there's gotta be an easier way to do this. And when your wife is an educator, you get kind of creative in how you use things because they do things so manually. You think it's bad with accounting and finance, wait till you're married to an educator. So how this works is first you're going to run the macro bulk create name text. Now I've already done that. What it will do is it will have blank. It, no, there won't be any data in here. It'll have the headers. You can have as many fields as you want. So you notice the fields I've got here, the name, the title, the city state, you can name them whatever you want. Now what you want to replace, you will put as the header name itself. And it tells you what these means with the cell comments behind them. And then the data you want to put in its place, you want to put behind it. Now the other thing you're going to have is one or more template sheets and they can look like whatever you want. So the example here, just for keeping it basic, is name tags. You can have one per sheet or eight or however many you think are gonna fit. The idea is you're probably gonna print this out, so maybe you wanna keep it reasonable for a page. But look, we've got first name, title, and, and city, state. You can have whatever fields you want. You can have as many fields as you want. Those, notice that they tie back to the headers here. And then here are the values you, values you wanna replace with them. Put how many sheets you have, put the range name that it's going to replace, what sheet name. You can have as many different templates as you want of all kinds. You just want to make sure you figure this out right. Now, when you've done those things, you're going to want to run this. Okay. And it will create everything. Now, it, it prompts you to proceed because this can take a little while. If you have a whole bunch of stuff you're doing, you can see in the background, it is replacing all of those things. And it says, hey, we've created a PDF file for you. Now. I'm gonna pull that open so you can see what that looks like. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Notice it filled it all in for us. Couldn't be easier, right? Then you can print that out on the labels that you might have to stick on everybody, or maybe it's labels for their supplies or equipment, or maybe it's something else. And I'll tell you where this started from. Again, my wife's an educator. So she said, hey, the school wants to make these rear view mirror hang tags with kids' names on them and their teacher. They wanna color code it, they wanna put the school mascot on it with different ways. I said, sounds interesting. Let me see what I can do. We use something just like this. That's where it was born, only it was a little different template. This was literally the template that you had in Excel and it filled all this stuff in and then they printed it out, they folded it together, they gave it to all the parents and the traffic situation was alleviated. How about that for creativity? You can do some awesome things with Excel because of the fact that it's got this list, because you can automate around it, you can templatize it. Why not take that same approach? So if you know someone who can use this, please share it with them, like it, give us a thumbs up, add a comment, whatever you want to do. Appreciate you watching. Thanks for that. Have an awesome rest of your day.